I look like these. 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 I also look like that. Hold it. Got the dumpy, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On that, on that, on that, on that. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so high. Yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Which is Terry BNA. If you don't know, now you know whenever best friends nice to meet you, sis. So make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the fam. When you do turn on your push notifications, follow me on social media, keep up with me, all that good stuff. Okay, okay. So as you can see by the title in the intro, and my fun ass, okay, and it's here because yeah. Today we're doing two feeding butterfly braids. I ain't even gonna cap. This might have been the hardest. Hairstyle I ever did on myself considering like this area of my hair is so soft and it likes doing whatever it wants to do. Like my edges right now curling up. I don't know who told it to do that. But girl, I don't know who's doing this own thing. But um this style came out really, really cute. It came out just how I imagined it. Um, I only used a couple of things. I used expressions, pretty stretch hair all the time. That's the only hair that I use. I use this braiding rock that I got from Amazon. I will link it in the description box below. And I use Shiner Jam to get the hair together. And I use Edge Booster for my edges. That's all you're going to need. Um, you know, you're going to need stuff to par. You're going to need your mirror so you can see what you're doing. But other than that, that's really all you need. And this style is super cute. The only if, if it wasn't for this area of my hair, it would have took like two hours to do tops, you know, but um, super cute. You don't have to uh, dip the ends because we use curly hair. We love that. And it's so lightweight. I love it. Um, so, yeah, I had freshly washed hair, blow dried hair. I didn't straighten my hair to get it slick. I'm going to show you what to do to get it slick. But yeah, that's all you need. You can make it look a little fancy with the little gold things, but I don't really like all that. And y'all know I change my hair all the time. So yeah, I'm going to stop rapping because I feel like I'm talking to y'all too much. And I'm going to let y'all see the tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you in the clip. Bye, mamas. Not bye. I'll see you in the next clip, girl. <laughs> So make sure that you start off with freshly washed hair and blow dry hair and make sure that you lay out your hair that you're going to be adding in before you start braiding. Do know that I added bigger sections than those. Those were too small. Y'all are going to see all my mistakes and my trials and errors because I want y'all to learn from me. So I'm going to start off with um, sectioning my hair and doing my parts. Unfortunately, I lost the clip, so you're not going to see everything, but I'm using Shiner Jam and a red silk comb. Um, I also went ahead and got my mirror for the back of my head because I could not see. Your mirror is going to be your best friend. Also, if you want to know all the products that I use in this video, they're going to be linked in the description box. So, like I said, I missed those clips. So, sorry, but I already molded my hair down. I will show you on the next braid that I do. But when you are comb rolling... With natural hair, especially if your hair is thin or short in the front like mine, you are going to want to add a lot of shining jam, comb the hair, brush the hair, continue to mold the hair. But what's really going to help you is if you pinch the hair. I'm going to show you in just a second. You see how I pinch the hair like that and it already looks like a comb roll is being formed? That's what you want to do so you have an easier way of gripping the hair. And then you're just going to braid, girl braid as nice and tightly and as neat as you can i do not know how to like tell you how to braid your hair because you're gonna have to know how to comb roll in order to do this style and i know it's a thousand videos on comb rolling on youtube so that's not this one girl but anyways i'm just braiding my hair as normal and i'm using my edge brush to help me out I'm kind of sort of doing a whole stitch braid situation, but not really because I'm still learning how to do that. But I did want those little lines because it just makes the comb roll look a little bit more neater in my opinion. You're going to see in a second that I'm going to take this braid out because I try to be a perfectionist when it comes to my hair and I messed up. So, yeah, you're going to see all my mistakes, my trials and errors, but... The only advice I have is to keep your comb on deck because it's definitely helpful and just take your time and breathe.
parking in LA. So I'ma send an Uber to your place. It's my secret safe. Safe with just you and me. We can leave a trace. This is my favorite mistake. Oh, look in my eyes. Can you find the lies? Do you feel alive? Look in my eyes. Do you find the lies? Do you feel alive? Look in my eyes. We both know it's wrong, but you're still. So here I am starting over again and you see this time I flipped the comb over. Taking the comb and picking up small pieces of hair like that helps so much more. Using the tail, it doesn't grip it, but if you use the front of the comb, you're able to pick up hair and keep your little stitch parts and it looks so neat. I'm going to turn to the side in just a second so y'all can see what I'm talking about, but I definitely wish that I did it this way the first time because I wouldn't have had to start over. Also, make sure that you leave out your edges before you start braiding. That's just a tip that I forgot to give you guys. Um, and once you get the hang of it, you are good to go. She put my man the way like this. I'm not like this anymore. Hope I make it out of here. She saw my eyes, she know I'm home. I see some things that you might hear. I'm doing a show, I'll be back soon. That ain't what she wanted to hear. Say you love me, don't you lie? Who come on, I don't wanna die. Keep it pissing on the side. Case of dreams, she put my money on my ideas. I'm the highest in the race. Don't call me the right one. She ain't stressing about the loot. Papa made a case of real. She's not the matter. Back 
on it since we was kids. so i messed up again and i'm taking my hair out as you can see look how small the braid is i did not like that it wasn't it wasn't gonna give off the butterfly look because it wasn't big enough so i decided to take that out and go back up a little bit further into the braid so i can add in big enough pieces you see how thick that piece was that i just threw back that's how big of a section you want if you want your look to look similar to mine I'm still doing the stitch situation with the comb and all I'm doing is comb rolling regularly but once my index finger is sticking out I am going to attach the hair like so I hope you saw I'm sorry that it wasn't um in the camera frame well but I should be able to show you how I do it when I do the next braid and then you're just gonna continue braiding down as normal um, you want to make sure that you are constantly adding shining jam if you want this style to last long. A lot of y'all be in my comments saying, how long does this style last? I want y'all to know that I am a content producer, okay? I produce content for you guys literally every other day I am filming or editing a video. So I don't wear these styles for long durations of time, okay? I wear this style to do the video, I'm gonna take it out, all right? So if you do wear a silk or satin scarf and bonnet, wrap your hair at all times. When you get in the shower, wrap your hair. When you lay down and you're just lounging in your room, wrap your hair, even if you're not going to sleep. Wrap your hair, okay? Oil your scalp, constantly keep your edges laid, girl. Um yeah i think that's about it and if you do all of that this style should last you about a week i'm gonna keep it a buck before it start looking beady and whatnot you know like or you start having like hella flyaways so yeah i'll give this style a week and it's real easy to do um you also don't have to dip the hair or anything like that so literally if i wanted this style to last long i would just take it out when i notice that it's getting a little messy save the hair don't throw the hair away and just braid your hair back. Simple as that. That's the beauty of being able to do your own hair and being your own hairstylist. You can save your coin and do the style over and over again until you get tired of it. like a regular plait y'all see how tight i'm braiding girl i'm gonna regret it in about an hour or two i would suggest that y'all don't braid your hair as tight as i'm doing it because at the end of the day it is a butterfly braid so you're gonna want to pull the braid apart so it looks thicker now i'm adding in curly pieces of hair this is the water waves texture if i can find a link i will definitely put it in the description box but please do know that i went and bought everything from the beauty supply so if i don't offer a link it's because literally i don't have one but this is water wave hair from free tress 
brand, I believe. And I'm only adding curly hair because I wanted the ends to be naturally curly. I had a hard time curling my hair with perm box when I did the coil array braids. And I didn't feel like going through that again. So this is a alternative to save your time. If I didn't make as many errors as I did this first time around, this style would only have taken me two hours to do. It is very easy and it's also like very convenient because you look hella cute and it doesn't take that much time if you know what you're doing. So yeah, as I'm adding in the braid, the curly hair, I'm no longer adding in regular braiding hair because I'm keeping the thickness with the um curly hair. I would add more curly hair than this. I add more in the second braid. Y'all, as I'm doing these styles for the first time, I'm learning as I go, okay? So, I hope y'all are learning from all of my mistakes. You see how tiny my braid is? I noticed that it needed a little bit more hair. And now that I'm getting to the bottom, you're going to seek out all of the straight pieces. And you're going to take that. And you're going to wrap it around the braid and tie a knot. If you watch my coil array braid tutorial, then you know exactly what I'm doing. Because that's how I ended those braids. Um, so yeah, you're just going to wrap it around and tie it. And then you're going to secure with a rubber band. Y'all see how skinny the ends are with the curly hair? Yeah, I ain't like that. So towards the end, um, I'm going to go in and add more curly hair off camera. But yeah, once you tie it, it's not as secure as I wanted it to be. So that's why I'll go in with a um a rubber band at the end. So now I'm trying to show y'all how you can get the sleek look without putting any heat to your hair. If y'all don't know, I experience heat damage. So I don't play when it comes to heat, okay? When I blow dry my hair, I blow it on cool settings. So I'm not putting any heat to my hair. But basically, all you want to do to flatten your hair out and make it sleek is add hella shine and jam or any type of wax that really like sleeks your hair down and you're going to part your hair and put wax or shine and jam throughout all of your roots um this is going to be so helpful especially if your hair is thick you want to put that jam all around okay on the back on the front at the top and then you want to get a bristle brush and brush your life away okay um because all you need is the roots really to be sleek you don't need the rest of your hair i got a lot of hair period look at that y'all i literally just cut my hair and my hair grew back like i can't wait to put y'all on to like my hair my hair secrets you know but anyways the quality is going to change right here because i had to switch from my camera to my phone and honestly my phone quality look a little bit better than my camera baby what's going on but yeah now that i got the hair to be all nice and sleek i'm going to grab a piece of hair at the very top okay because i kind of want it to comb roll right here instead of where y'all like where you would normally think I was going to comb roll because it was too difficult to do it right there. My hair is too short, basically. And I was getting frustrated. This was like my 13th time trying. And now I'm going back in with the same comb to create the stitch method. The same exact thing I did on the other side, I'm doing now. I just started at a different area because my hair is short. I'm, I'm working on it. I take my hair vitamins every day period okay so i have gave y'all all the tips and tricks at this point if you don't like this video girl come on now like and comment down below what you think about the style and if y'all try this out at home definitely tag me because i want to see the final result
arm to pull at the braid. You want to lightly secure the braid at the end with a rubber band. Like, wrap it around twice so you have enough room to pick at the braid. This is going to make the braid so cute in my opinion. I think the bigger the braid, the better the look. And it's just going to really give it that butterfly effect. Okay, now I was struggling because my braid was so tight. What I suggest that y'all do is braid tight at the top where your hair is still out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then as you get down, braid looser because I was pulling at this braid for like 30 minutes. What I got. And it was, it was job blowing me, but you know, we got, we got it together. Y'all see how cute it is? Period. I love it. So also if you need help with pulling at the braid, get the end of your rat tail comb that helps okay i felt a little bit more secure with my hands for some reason but if you want the braid to look even more like a butterfly braid get the end of your red tail comb and pull at it that way i promise you it will help so yeah now that i did all that it's really time to get the ends together because they was looking a little willy nilly um but the braid looks super cute so what i'm gonna do is section off all of the um straight pieces like i said earlier and i'm doing the same technique i'm gonna take them and wrap them around my index finger and i'm going to create a knot you want to wrap it around a couple of times so you can make sure that it's secure and then your pointed finger makes sure that you're not making the hair messy and nappy and then once you tightly secure it tightly girl pull with all your might you're going to put a rubber band under that. And after you put a rubber band on it, I like to cut off the straight ends because I don't like the way they look against the curly pieces. And I'm going to fluff the curly pieces out by cutting it to a length that I think looks cute. And I'm going to brush it out with my um tangle tweezer, whatever it's called. Tangle, girl, get a brush <laughs> and brush the curls out. So that's really all i did i hope i hope and pray that this video was easy to follow y'all know i'm gonna slick my edges at the end um and i also sprayed it with gatsby spray and i put on some of the ruby mousse so yeah i hope y'all i hope y'all like this style i love it look at it it's so cute it's so cute and as the more day as more days go by the cuter the style gets like period
if y'all hear anything in the background my mom cooking she caters so yeah but i love this hairstyle it's super duper cute um please learn from my mistakes do not braid the um braid down too tight because you gotta fluff it out um add enough curly hair so you don't have to go back and add more uh what else make sure that your hair is completely detangled girl and keep a brush on deck because if you mess up like me you're gonna have to brush your hair over and over again um and get the mirror together so you can part your hair so yeah if your hair is soft like mine the gatsby spray really really helps and laying it down for like 10 minutes i laid it down as i did my makeup real quick and it came out perfect so yeah those are my tips and tricks. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, okay? Because I've been here struggling. All right. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, mamas. Hold it. Got the dump in, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it.